And we are back almost immediately after that previous ending. Um, I had to take a break. I had to go. I, sh I should have walked around my house a few more times. Um, so the spells were suspended in the air somehow and didn't dissipate. They were just like kind of jammed there. I stopped, I mean, not I stopped, but the effects of the silver pendant stopped. And they all came flying towards me. Where the man is following closely behind. I did not even know that was possible. I thought the silver pendant offers complete... But like, what the fuck are you supposed to do there, though? Like, because... If the spells are like stuck there... If the silver, sil silver pendant wears off, I get hit and die. If I keep spamming it, Manus is gonna come in and jump attack me and I will die. And I've never... It must be a thing. Like, everything in Dark Souls is a thing that has happened to people before. But that has never happened to me. Like, legit. That's why I felt... Listen... Some of the Game of Thrones betrayals are nothing to what I just experienced. Nothing. And the fact that both of those attacks missed is insult to injury, I think. Mm, too slow. This is in Dark Souls 3. This was the spell. Really strange. Yeah, that's like, it's, it's a thing. Huh. It is not it. It's the attack I want. Okay, I think we're off the power within train. Yes, we are. These are possible to dodge, but no thanks. Okay, what is he doing? Cool. Fuck you, Manus. That's for betraying me like that. I knew I just had to stand up and walk around. <sighs> There's something there. Ten humanities. It's like a portal thingy. Holy shit. Hold on. Oh yeah, and this. High dusk. I'll leave you to it. Poor dusk. And she's dead in this version too. Which is unfortunate. Dead waifu. And the question is, what's gonna happen when I touch this? Mm. No cutscene, as expected. And we go... We go to... Oh man, I really hope I didn't lose footage there, because I accidentally disconnected my computer somehow. <sighs> I'm really, really hoping. I'll be so pissed if I lost that Manus fight. That Manus fight was textbook. 
Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. We'll go through this area. If I did lose the footage, hi. This is what you're going to be seeing. Welcome back to Dark Souls. I beat Manus after being betrayed like that in the previous episode. But you have to just take my word for it. The fact that I have his soul. Summon Dark Explosion. Oh hey, this is pretty cool. Soul of Quelos. They're playing tricks on me, you know, we were talking about this on stream, how shitty I am at using items. I'm terrible at using items, I don't know why. It's just ingrained in me. And fucking this game makes items... <laughs> they made items, like soul items, also buffs. Ensuring that I'm never ever gonna use them. Um, probably. But that's not exactly true. I know I should go for a Calamite next, but listen, the game very clearly indicated that this is where we should go. And I am not gonna deny the game. I don't think the pl not looking at my HP bar. I don't think the plus fifteen thing gave me extra HP. But it was a nice, it was a nice thought. I feel like this area is gonna kick into high gear once I once I release the seal, release the kraken. What was that movie? Clash, Clash of Titans. That was like... That was... A god-awful movie, honestly. Um, truly god-awful. Mm, and they made a sequel to it, like... Clash of the something. Which was even worse, somehow. It's like... To quote an AVGN, old AVGN episode... Specifically, I think the Sega CD and 32X ones. As he said, it's like puking on a pile of shit, you know. Like... Man, ABGN. I remember when fucking... I was like 15. We were just back from England, living here in Hungary. And I thought ABGN was the coolest shit. Like, on Cinemassacre too, not even in YouTube. Uh, YouTube wasn't that big. I mean, people were getting around to it. And ABGN, I mean, he was like one of the pioneers. And I used to wait for like, on Cinemassacre for the new episodes. Like, still to this day, the... Uh, Zelda, Sega CD ones are some of my favorites. And he's still going, again, like AVGN. His videos are still the same quality. You know, that's the crazy thing, and he's still popular. And I can see the texture work isn't actually that good with the increased lighting. It's all, it's cool. <laughs> I still don't know how the fuck I'm gonna fight the four kings. I am not cursed. Listen, no, I have, mm, fuck it. I'll buy two more. So yeah, that's the thing. I remember all those like when the thing on YouTube was making AV AVGN style videos. That's crazy. That was like the trend. Oh, what the hell? Get off. Everybody was aping him, you know, imitating his style. Many not realizing that 
the AVGN episodes worked because James actually knew how to be a filmmaker, you know. He knew how to set up shots, like frame stuff, camera angles and all that. Whereas the imitators were not so well versed in those sciences and most of them were terrible. I'm kind of dreading this, like I legit don't know what the hell is going to happen. I'm assuming dark wraiths and ghosts and hello. Um, can you like not? That's my request of can you just like not? Okay. Clearly. I kind of had a feeling that something like this would happen. Um, it's kind of exactly what was in my my thoughts. Yup. Okay. All I got to do is get the transient curse equipped somehow. Item management. This is why you should sort out your equipment, people. Not alluring skulls, bitch. It's transient curse. There it is. Okay, now you boys are fucked. Oh, did you see the... That was some pro evasion. Okay. Not exactly in a... Insult Tide Knight, what? There's so many of them. It's all good. I think you can still get out quicker. Yeah, again. What I thought would happen is exactly what would, what happened. I thought that as soon as I break that seal, it's going to be... I nearly walked off the edge. It's going to be an absolute clusterfuck of ghosts. Yeah. Okay, I think he's just stuck there. Looks like it. But how can a ghost be stuck? I don't give a shit. Man, these guys drop. Like, not a lot of souls. Okay, and this is what I'm kind of dreading coming down here because... What? No. No. How? How is there an armored pig here? Seriously, how is there an armored pig here? Thank fuck I have combustion. Like, damn. I mean, he... I get the logic, he kind of looks like he has Dark Wraith armor on, almost. But then again... Okay, this thing is not about to kill me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, now that I think about it... It does kind of look like he has Dark Wraith armor. Hey, makes sense. How the pig was underwater for that long? Listen. Don't answer. Nobody ever explains how the dark wraiths survive either. If there are even going to be dark wraiths here. No way. What? Am I stoned? It's a ghost gargoyle. But how? From An Orlando as well. It's him. 
Um, I'm definitely smoking shit. Um, this is not real. Server, hey. And they put a bonfire in. Firekeeper soul as well. What? What did it say? Firekeeper absent cannot light bonfire. It's because I picked up the thing, right? That's what it is. I already know that's what it is. These are tricksters. And you can't, of course, this is, you cannot put items back. This is souls. Nice game. Nice. Congrats. Round of applause. Oh, that could have been a mimic. Would have been a dick move, but it could have been. I'm not gonna cry that it wasn't. I mean, listen, I don't know why I'm coming up here. This is where the very large ember is, and... Oh, no, no, that's where the very large ember was. Black Knight armor, cool. Not cool, because it's useless for me, but... It's the sentiment, you know. I cannot believe this bond. This. <laughs> All right, game. Congrats again. You got me. Fair play, you know. Mm, is this okay? Are my transient curses worn off? It's okay. Oh, I actually should have left it up. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. We'll put this thing up. And then we'll go back to Firelink Shrine. Re-rest. Guess if we have it, we might as well use our... Firekeeper soul. And then we can go back. I mean, listen. The fact that this da this area doesn't have a bonfire is not the end of the world for me. Uh, for many, many years I've played souls where there wasn't a bonfire in New Londo. Especially since, as everybody knows, you can skip most of New Londo uh, once you drain the water. So it's like... I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I feel like this area is better like this. This is one area where they definitely improved it quite a bit. I like this setup a lot more that it's actually like completely empty and the enemies only come out after you drain the the water. I feel like it's a much more impactful like effect. What? I never heard that thing makes like a weird noise. This is a weird enemy. He's gonna blow. The skull, I mean. No other connotation to that. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm about to get fucked up. Yes, please pile on more enemies. Are you kidding me? It's like everybody and their mother decided to join the fight. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, you know what? I, ha I haven't tried going back to... the thing. 
you know, I just saw the crow and I realized that I've not been back. Uh, whatever. Whatevs, you know. So I think the lesson learned is just run. Just run. <laughs> Mask of the mother is pretty good. I feel like if I had to ra raid these masks, um, it definitely goes Mask of the Father, obviously. There can be no other victor of the mask race. I think Mask of the Child is the second best looking one, and this one, the Mask of the Mother, is just like... What were they thinking? Oh, these enemies respawn. Right, shut up, bitch. I know how to skip through this entire area. This still doesn't solve that I... I just realized that I don't have the Covenant of Artorias ring. Oh shit, yeah. There is un problemo. I'm gonna be honest with you. Whatever, I'm just gonna warp out. Just coming down here because this is outside the aggro range of the enemies. Because the ghosts can come through here. I don't have the Covenant of Artorias ring, right? I do have it. I got it from Artorias, I think. Am I prepared for this? Four kings. Let's heal. Fuck it, let's go. There's gonna be something here with this boss fight. The Abyss. King Boltarash? What? How many of them are there? Jesus. Okay, hold on. That grab attack. I forgot it deals damage too. I think I get it. It's one by one now, isn't it? Are you next? Yes, you are. King Silgor. Oh, this, this is actually cool. This is actually cooler than the regular fight. Block it. What can I do? Hey, that's, that actually blocked it decently. Bad heal. Luckily, his attacks up close don't do shit. King Ganzir. Okay, you need to work on the name, the guys. Gotta watch out for that. Okay. I'm down with this. I'm down with this. Uh, yeah, no complaints. Listen, I feel like I need this flasks. Oh, I just realized something. Oh, this is too tempting. I just realized something. I gotta check it out. Listen, I probably don't have time for the four kings again anyways, because I think I'm running out of time. Depending on whether the Manus fight was lost or not. 
But I just realized that I have this. It talked about the gauntlet. The gauntlets? The gauntlets. I just realized if there is ever something that classifies as a heavy gauntlet, it's gotta be the stone one. The, the reason I realized it is I was just thinking, you know, how much easier the four kings are when you just throw on stone armor and that's it. But then I realized that I, hey, I have the stone armor. But this way four kings are not that difficult if they're one on one. I feel like there's going to be some trick at the end that they have some phase two or something where they all join in. Because I can imagine them doing something like that in this game. Legit. And if this is not heavy, heavy enough, I really don't know what the hell you're supposed to do here. Um, Yes. And you know why? Because I have the gauntlets, I think. And they want to stop me. Okay, I know what the fuck is up. This poor gargoyle. He isn't standing much of a chance. I remember when I thought this was like the hardest boss ever created. Couldn't fucking beat him. Damn. But then I did and it was godlike. I'm really hoping that this is This is it. I mean, that was predicted. Oh, two twin humanities. <laughs> I'm just standing there. That must be it, right? This is not like a trigger, like an event trigger. All right. Maybe the, s the Silver Knights are good enough as well. Yes. Fucking yes. I don't know how that made any goddamn sense, but don't worry about that. What's gonna happen, though? Like, what's the cutscene? Just nothing? Uh-oh. Uh oh. What? It wakes up Nito. Yeah, it does. Cool. I guess it must be done if you want to progress. Excellent. Well, I think that's about as big an achievement for this episode as I needed. Uh, that was fun. Neato. I think Nito is going to be predictably easy. Um, still. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, yeah, I'll be back from holiday soon. Follow me on Insta if you want to keep up with me. And yeah, see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And goodbye.